Well, it certainly transformed Liverpool. I used to sail out of Liverpool for 10 years in 1955 on the Cunard liners that used to go to New York. I know the old docks industry, the, all those things. When I go and see it now, it's been transformed. And I ask myself, how did it transform? Well, it was led by a man who I knew was Mr. Whitaker, because I brought him into Liverpool, helping that he could transform Liverpool's Speak Airport when I was a minister. Not only did he do that, he took over the whole of the Merseyside. He owns most of it from what I can see. But it was that initiative of a private engineer working with the public sector as well and having a vision. That's what's made it successful. And I'm trying to copy it in whole. And if we get the same thing, not just a port, a whole region in the concept of the North, we'll have the two gateways to the greatest economy growth that we can have in the future across the North. And it started with PM Industries, and I hope I can copy it in whole. Well, it's critical because what you're pro proving, whatever they said about Liverpool of my time, you had the bother with the strikes and the stopping and that, that's changed. Labour's transformed itself and therefore the logistics, we better make sure we get the pra passenger trains, yes, but think of freight. Freight productivity is the way forward. What you're doing in Peel is showing how you can take a bigger risk and how you can make it forward. I want to get that same spirit over on the other side of the northern economy in all.